parallelogram rule is demonstrated here. Imagine we have forces of magnitudes 6 newtons and 9 newtons acting on a particle at O, such that the angle between the directions of the forces is 60 degrees, as shown. If we draw a parallelogram, using the magnitudes and directions of these two forces as the sides of the parallelogram, then the diagonal of the parallelogram represents the resultant vector R as shown. Using the cosine rule, the magnitude of R can be determined as shown here. An alternative method of adding two vectors together is by means of the triangle rule. This uses a triangle as opposed to a parallelogram. It is basically a very similar construction. Here, the 9 newton vector is slid up the page so that its tail meets the head of the 6 newton vector. The resultant vector R is then obtained by joining the tail of the 6 newton vector to the head of the 9 newton vector as shown. It doesn't matter which vector we move across the page. Here we slide the 6 newton vector across first so that its tail meets the head of the 9 newton vector and then join the tail of the 9 newton force to the head of the 6 newton force, getting the same resultant R as before.